Welcome back. It's nine minutes after the hour. Remember that old ad about the uh, mini wheats, frosted mini wheats? Bring out your kid and your adult at the same time? Well, there's a coffee shop in Hancock that kind of does the exact same thing. This morning, Ansley Watson is at a toy store coffee shop called Casey Bonkers, or I think that's Ansley. It might be a minion. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Vicki. I am standing in a pretty unique little shop here, toys and coffee. But right now we're going to be talking more about toys here. I'm here with co-owner Clay Hillman. Good morning. Good morning. So Casey Bonkers, fairly new shop here in Hancock. When did you guys open? We opened, well, the first official day was July 8th. We opened our doors to the public. Yeah. And so now you guys have a fairly unique story here. There's you know, Casey Bonker is actually a part of the store. Talk to us what Casey Bonker is. Who is he? Um, well, I mean, we had an idea of having, like, a toy store. Some friends of ours who are now our business partners, they had an idea of having, like, a cafe in the same store. But it wasn't until Casey Bonker got involved that the whole thing started to really gel together. Once he, his persona, his personality, his love of toys and coffee, he thought that we should work for him and put together his, his store. There's some pretty neat toys. We got our own little yes. puppets here. I thought this one looked like me, so that's why I wanted to pick her. And she's a ballerina. And this also. one doesn't look like me at all. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we're standing in front of um, a ship here that was actually given to you by Peter Pan, right? Yes, yes it was. Casey Bonker actually has a lot of um, connections all over the place, and one of them being, of course, in Neverland. And so Peter Pan, who's a good friend of his, a little bit of a brat, but he did. Um, <laughs> he, was, he was nice enough to donate this pirate ship to the to the toy store so we could display our toys on it and i saw on the wall you guys actually have a celebrity wall of people who've actually come and visit you one yep. being barbie my favorite yep. darth yep. vader who uh, else the sock, the sock monkey. monkey that's right a strawberry shortcake's been here my little pony's been here so um like i said he's got he's got friends all over the place and um he's especially close friends with some of these celebrity toys now, when people can come in here, can they just play with these toys? What is it like? What can people can expect when they come in here? Um, what you can expect is to find things that you don't find anywhere else. We've got a lot of uh, toys that you probably haven't seen in 30, 40 years. But we've also got a lot of toys that you haven't seen maybe ever. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of very educational toys, um, toys that will help um, small children develop um, and develop a good sense of play and creativity. But, but um, for the most part, you're going to find most of these toys you'll be able to pull off the shelf and try it out. Now, you're telling me that Casey Bonker is actually friends with Willy Wonka. Yeah, rumor has it. Rumor, rumor ha has it. Rumor has it that they're, they, they grew up together, whereas Mr. Wonka went off to uh, chocolate school, Casey Bonker went off to toy school. But they do have a history. Um, at least that's what I've heard. And speaking of toy schools, you guys got, kind of do something like that here, don't you? Yeah, when it comes to... Um, a lot of places, will, like libraries and, and art centers and things, will have workshops. We have what we call toy school, where you can study toyology. So you can come in um, on, a, on a given day when we have it, and you can learn to uh, make a marionette. You could learn to maybe uh, make a kite, learn to juggle, learn a new board game, things like that. Very, very neat. Now, people are probably wondering why on earth we have these on our heads, but they actually serve a purpose, and we will talk more about that here later in the hour. Stay with us, reporting live in Hancock, Ansley Watson, TV6 News. Okay, they're fun and functional. All right, thanks, Ansley. I guess we're just going to have to wait. See, I honestly right. thought she was trying to be a minion, so. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> looks like it. Yeah, either that or a steampunk. One or the there other. You go. It could go in either direction. <laughs> well, Welcome for, back. Yeah. Well, if you want maybe some different ideas for the holiday season, Casey Bonkers is a unique toy store and, yes, a coffee shop, too. This morning, we're joined by Ansley Watson in Hancock telling us more about it and uh, hopefully doing a little bit of work this morning. Good morning, Sam. You know, this place is so full of toys. They have puppets, puzzles, old Fisher Price toys that you probably haven't seen in quite some time. But on the other hand, they also have a coffee shop and little cafe here. I'm joined with the co-owner, Clay Hillman. Good morning. Good morning. So we're going to make, um, it's called a bubbler, correct? That's right. It's our signature drink. This is the Bonker Bubbler. Um, rumor has it actually that Charlie, who now owns the big chocolate factory, mm -hmm. he actually came up with the menu for this. So I think you had asked for a love potion. Bubbler. I did. I felt yeah. like that would be accurate. What are some other flavors that you have here? Uh, we have Eye of Newt, the Elixir of Life. This is the antidote in case there's any sort of side effects from the potions. Okay. Toad Sweltered Venom, Snake Oil, and Dragon Blood. And you can get any bubbler 
with unicorn milk. Um, they're local unicorns uh, from the Dollar Bay Unicorn Sanctuary. Interesting, but I'm supposed to ask you how to not get the milk from them, correct? Yes, yeah, don't, <laughs> I have no idea how they extract the milk. I've heard it comes out of the horn. Oh, so, yeah. okay, that makes sense. Yeah. So, all right, let's put one together. All right, so you're gonna wanna put your goggles on okay. because as you'll see instantly upon putting on the, your, your goggles that it not only offers some eye protection, because I just don't always know what's going to happen, but also you notice the radioactivity that you can see, see now. It. Yep. Um, so we're measuring out the love potion. And that's exactly what I need that much. That's exactly right. Yep. And then we got the fizzy lifting drink from Charlie's factory, but we had to deliftify it because kids were floating up to the ceiling and um, having a hard time getting them out of here. Oh dear. So we're going to put in the fizzy lifting drink, deliftify, just like you can deliftify or decaffeinate uh, coffee, you can delift his delifting drink. Okay. And now we add the unicorn milk. Um, this is an option. And you can see, look at look at that. You can see the oh, purple. I see Do it. Do you notice the magic? Uh, there's some That's sparkles so around there. Now, as we add this, um, you see the effects of the potion there taking effect. Yep. And now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how and why we call them a bubbler. So we put the lid on, capture some of those fumes. Would you like a pink straw today? Of course. Okay, so these are one-way straws. The air only travels one direction. There's like a little monkey in there with a catch valve or something. Uh -huh. But what that means is that normally when you put a straw in, the air goes up and you get your liquids. We're gonna put it in upside down because what I want you to do is blow down on that straw and churn up the potion. If you don't do this, you will notice some extreme side effects. And with Love Potion, the side effects being not just a nice gentle affection towards things, but extre good? extreme obsession. Good, you got a little, oh, it's still still mixing. Now you can take a sip and tell me, oh, wait, 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 before you do that, we're gonna take the straw out. Because it's one way. It's one way, we gotta turn it back the other way. Now you can drink it and see what you think. Yummy. Yeah. So am I gonna fall in love today? Is this what this means? That's exactly what that means, yeah. Wow. The effects should only last a few hours. I mean, you might fall in love with like puppies or people <laughs> or mosquitoes, I don't know. Um, it just depends on the day and your mood. Now, if I didn't stir this up, now it could have kicked in really strong, I would have had to take the antidote, right? That's right, yeah. We carry the antidote just in case that happens. The antidote actually tastes a lot like uh, tangerines. Um, so, but yeah, usually when a big party comes in, Somebody's got to get the antidote. Now, what do some of the other flavors do? Like, what does dragon blood do? Dragon blood will make you nice, uh, big and powerful, strong. Um, but it, the side effect there is it might make you feel like sitting on a big pile of gold for a few thousand years and breathing fire on anyone that comes near it. How neat. And then coffee. Obviously, you guys have coffee here. We do have coffee. And you guys have fun things. I mean, there's something called magic coffee. We have magic coffee that is basically black coffee. Uh, with a tablespoon of coconut oil whipped up in the blender and what it does is it makes it so you don't crash That's what's so magical about it. Okay. Yeah, there's no caffeine crash from that Well Clay is there anything else that you would like to say about Casey bonkers? Um, well, we are having a special between Thanksgiving and Christmas where you can come in once a week We'll have a drawing for a $50 gift certificate so you can come in and uh, get some Christmas presents I would suggest coming in early this year as a lot of toys are flying off the shelves already so all right, well, thank you, Clay. Thank and uh, you. it's been a great time here. Got my goggles on so I could see all this magic happening here today. Reporting live in Hancock, Ansley Watson, and we'll be back with more of your TV6 Morning News after the break.